Hello, today I will show you a very exciting trick how it's possible to store files in the SQL database. At the beginning I will show you how to make insert or record files to the database and then how to extract it back. What we have? On the C drive we have two files. In general it doesn't matter what it is, but in my case I have images. Then with the following script we can insert those files to the SQL table. And I will show you two examples how to make this insert. One example of the basic insert and second with dynamic SQL. So for the beginning we need to create three variables folder file and SQL. Folder file I need to just to define the name and pass to the file and SQL I need to, to have uh, dynamic SQL later on. Then we can create table my pictures for example first three columns so just to define the file name and the path to the file and the last column which with the magic type var binary where will be stored files itself then with the following command insert into my pictures we will insert the first image to the table Yes, what is important here? In the open row set, we need to define the bulk and define the path to the file and select the type single blob. Then after this command, picture of the, of the file will be inserted to the table. But this command has one problem that it doesn't accept any variables. And in order to work with the variables, in case if you need to process many files, for example, then we can create a dynamic SQL. Yeah, here is a basic example of dynamic SQL where folder and files are supplied by the variables, like here. And here we execute this dynamic SQL. And at the end, we will show what we get in the table and delete the table itself. So now let's execute it and take a look on the result. Here it is. We have a two records in the table with a folder, file name and file itself. So now we can move to the second part of our trick and extract the data from the table. In order to do that, we will need to execute the following script. But in this script, we have special procedures, special SQL procedures, which will work only if we will enable all the automation procedures. In order to enable it, we need to execute the following script. Let's do it now. So we did it. We executed the script and all the automation procedures is enabled now. We don't need this function anymore, so that's why I will comment it. As well, since here our script will not stop, I will comment deletion of the table as well. Like this. Now let's look on the script which will extract the data. What is here? First of all, we have a variables. And the first variable is for, for folder and file name, yes. In other words, it's our path where files will be saved. Then we need a small variable for initialization in it. And the variable data, where will be stored our file. Then we make a basic query to the our my pictures table and we will extract only the first file yes as you see we'll extract id number one and here we need to extract here in variable output folder file we will extract folder and the file name 
and before filing them we will put a prefix out just to separate from original file yes which you see here and then to the variable data we will get file data itself then then what we will do we need to run or execute this set of special functions which will initiate connection to the file open the file write the data to the file save this file to the path which we define in the variable and close it yep and at the end we will delete the table let's look how it works all together together with the first script to do so here we get the, our table which we made on our first step but uh, the most interesting will be what is happening right now in the folder in the folder we see the second file out underscore arrow it means that our arrow file was recorded to the database and then extracted back to the arrow out underscore arrow file yeah that's it